Okay guys, so it's Tuesday the 25th of February. This is a bit more like it as you can probably see the sun shining on my bones. Um, yeah. Well, oh, being a bit of a hectic morning, make here while the sun shines as they say. So last night I went to bed and I was uh, basically uh, <laughs> planning how I was going to have all of this um, allotment. Um, I've been at work since four o'clock and basically on and off uh, got up about six got up a nice early start about eight o'clock uh, after some breakfast and uh, just been battering on since uh, you can probably see now that uh, I've got all the uh, plastic lifted up uh, the big pile in the middle of here uh, but, uh, hopefully try and dry out I'll drag it out in the wind in a minute and uh, let the wind get at it to dry it off a bit and then uh, probably burn that on a positive note, we've got uh, all the plastic lifted up and I've even been round with a fork and uh, I've managed to get uh, the fork prodded into the ground and just lifted in places where it was the reddest. Sorry about the camera angles guys, uh, the sun's shining and am I pleased to see it, trust me, uh, but it, it's uh, just making filming a little bit uh, awkward. What I'll do is I'll spin the camera around and I'll give you a better view. I've also done a bit of uh, time lapse while I was doing this. How it comes out, I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go and, and see if we can get it up so you can see the progress as I've been, <coughs> been going along. Sorry, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to spin the camera around in a second and uh, I'll give you a, a cool background. Okay, so you get a slightly better shot this way, but there's the big pile of uh, what's left of the uh, the older um, fish queen, etc. Um, it, it's basically it, it, um, weed membrane that was underneath the plastic as well so there was nothing was going to come through that I can assure you but uh, we'd still find a, a way of getting on the surface and growing but now at least I have a canvas I can start work with that was extremely boggy over here is not too bad it's pretty dry um, and it's fairly firm but I've still aerated it with the, uh, with the fork but over here, as you can see, it's still uh, a bit of a quagmire. But I've been in there with the fork and uh, dug deep. And then I've loosened it up and uh, and lifted it in places. And already the water's starting, starting to drain down there now. So I uh, could do with a full day of sunshine for the try and uh, get this uh, uh, dried out a lot better than it is. Anyways, a quick update and uh, we'll come back to you when we've uh, got a little bit more progress. Catch you later guys, bye. Okay guys, so uh, we've spread the old weed membranes out now. Um, the sun's gone back again, but uh, it's still dry. So I spread those out. They were never gonna dry in a big heap like they were. So I'm hoping they're gonna dry off a little bit. And then basically, once they're dry enough, we can get them in the bin and get them burned. Uh, they're not gonna be reused for anything. Um, they've done the, the job paid for themselves um, basically they're going to just dry out a bit now and we're hopefully going to get them burned a bit later on uh, yep so good progress I'm off for a cup of coffee now and I'll catch you in the shed see you later bye okay guys so here I am in the shed I've just got the kettle on now so this morning uh, before we came up we paid ourselves a visit to uh, Poundland for some Poundland specials and I got these they're already starting to bud up, as you can see on the top of that one. Uh, but all of these are, uh, are already, they're nice and healthy. They're already starting to bud up. And I thought these would add a bit of colour where the trees are going to go, into that bed, along with the apple trees and the pear trees. Just add a little bit of colour in there. So, yeah, quite pleased. Four quid, you can't go past that, can you? If you get one plant that survives out of them, well, yeah, it's a bonus. Yeah, so, yeah, you can't go wrong. Four quid. Um, as I say, if one plant survives, you, you can't go wrong. Uh, right, so I'm in the, in, in the shed now, having a cup of coffee. My back's breaking, absolutely breaking. Uh, believe it or not, just um, getting all that plastic up, getting that big hollow filled in, uh, cutting it into strips, rolling it all up, etc. Um, in two hours. Uh, my back is going absolutely mental at the moment. So I'm just having a bit of a sit down, waiting for the kettle to boil, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. 
but you've got no idea how delighted I am to see that sunshine. Um, I don't want to sit here too long on a cup of coffee in case I miss it. Uh, I might try and get a photograph of it before and show you all. Uh, before I go, we'll get a snapshot. Uh, this, the big yellow thing in the sky. Right, so I'm basically, uh, my intention is to just batter on and get as much done today as I can. Um, how much that will be, I really don't know. Uh, the ground was really, really sodden uh, once I got all the plastic back, but now the air's getting at it. It's going to have a fighting chance of drying out, uh, especially if the rain stays away. So uh, I've been round the uh, entire area with the garden fork, a full depth, and then and lifted the soil. I don't want to turn it over because it's going to be a no dig area. Uh, and, and you're going to just turn all the nutrients that's on the top and put them into the bottom and that defeats the object. So basically I've what they call in America broad forked it. So I've put a, it isn't a very broad fork so it took a while. Uh, but basically I went down a full uh, forks depth which is approximately a foot rocked it back and forward and just loosened the soil uh, just to let air in and to let the water drain down and get out of the way. Uh, it's not pleasant paddling around in soggy, sloppy sludge. I'm sliding all over the place, pulling muscles where I never knew I had muscles. <laughs> and basically, uh, that's the fun of gardening. So yeah, I'm in a much chirpier mood this morning. Um, the sunshine is just a bonus. Um, I actually fully expected Reckon up to pour them down rain again, but I would have still been blodding on. Uh, but yeah, uh, really, really pleased to see the sunshine. Go and have this cup of coffee, and I'm going to catch up with you guys later. So, thanks for watching, stay with me, and see how we get on in the day. Thanks guys, catch you later.